Hello, this is the directions video for the first activity, the reading organizer. So, there are two ways you can access this student reading organizer. One is you can download it and it looks like this, but you'll need to have words so you can type into these boxes, otherwise you may not be able to type into these boxes. So the other way you can do that is by accessing it on your class notebook. All right, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you do is you would go up to your class notebook up here. Up here you click on it and when you do you will come to your class notebook page which you should be familiar with. And then you have to go underneath your name. So make sure you go underneath your name. And when you click on your name you'll see assignments and underneath assignments you'll pick A15 and then from A15 you'll pick Reading Organizer Activity 1. Now if you do not click under your name, if you happen to click underneath Content Library, you'll not be able to annotate this document. This little thing up here will not appear. So you need to make sure that you're under your name, A15, and then A1. Okay, once you get here, then it's easy to annotate. You click on your draw, and then you'll click on this text box over here. And I left room up here so that you can push your text box and you can just pull it down and you can type in it and if it keeps going off the page like that what you do is you just come over and you just pull it back and now when you type on it it will just keep going okay so that's how you annotate your document so now let's go to how you're going to get this so this is going to be page 220 in your book to page 222 so open up to page 220 so I'm going to access that right now on the online book and this will be the tree of life is what it's called and this is page 220 so I'm going to split my screen all right so the first thing you do is you're going to read I'd read this top paragraph there's going to be some questions on that later interpreting a cladogram you read this and what you're supposed to do is summarize the evidence or main ideas. So I've given you two boxes so you can summarize the evidence or main ideas from here and then here. Now I would look at this question and make sure that you can answer it here. You will see that question later in your reading organizer questions. So you're going to come back to those later. Okay, then you go to taxonomic classification, which is right here in the middle. And you would, again, organize two uh, factoids or explanations there. So you got some information here. You're going to see this question again, so make sure you know how to answer it or get an idea about it. And then here, so that will go in those two places. And then finally, you have your final spot, which is classification today. So you'll read your classification today, and you'll write down two facts or summaries right here. Right? And again, I would recommend that you uh, make sure that you can answer this. You'll see this kind of question um, in the next activity. So that's how you do your reading guide. If you have any questions, oh, how to submit it. So then if you need to submit it, if you haven't done this already, you just go up to the share button here and you click on that and you'll be seeing a link. So you can copy the link and you can go ahead and just copy this and you'll paste it into your submit button under the URL title and then it'll show up or you can open a text box and just say hey Mr. Lindemann it is in the class notebook. If any further questions please talk to me your science teacher.